Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of The Fat Show. So today's just gonna be a quick episode. Hopefully, I'm gonna try and do my first attempt repair of my broken ECU pin for my Solid 9.3 uh, Aero Wagon. So kind of what my plan is, is I got this uh, silver epoxy, or yeah, I guess it is silver, because it has like pieces of silver in it, or whatever, silver blended epoxy, um, conductive epoxy. So. Originally my plan was to try and mix it up and actually stick the pin back on the connector, but I think what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit on the end of the pin, put the pin slightly in the female end, and then just with a tiny bit of it, put the connector together, and hopefully that will hold it best while it dries <coughs> without putting too much epoxy on there. Because I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to get on there without hitting the other pins, and obviously I can't short out the pins. So fingers crossed, hopefully this will work. I have been putting it in the female connector and putting it back together and it'll work for a little while and then eventually it will vibrate and stop making connection and the car will die. So I don't know, this is gonna be my first attempt. I don't really have any better ideas without buying a super expensive ECU. So hopefully this will work, um, but I guess we'll see. Here's what the broken pin looks like, because I didn't show you last time. Sorry, my lens was dirty, so the camera is struggling to focus on these. Like I said before, I'm just pulling the pin out and gonna apply the epoxy to the tip of it here. Here's the silver epoxy I got. It's pretty expensive from Amazon. I think it was around $40. Seems like a lot for just an epoxy, but if it does end up saving my ECU, it will be a huge savings. It's hard to see on camera, but here's the applied epoxy to the pin. Uh, so that's it for this uh, fix. It was pretty simple. Hopefully it lasts. Uh, I let the epoxy dry for like 24 hours, even though it says, I think 65 minutes in the instructions. Uh, and then I started the car up a day later and it ran fine. Um, I guess the real test is gonna be driving it when it's vibrating and shaking around to see how long it lasts. Cause the last time I, it worked for a little while, so. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna definitely not gonna rely on it to drive to work the first time, but I'll take it on a few trips around and I'll uh, post back in or check back in on how it's going. Uh, and then next time we'll probably work on replacing that water pump that's leaking. Uh, so uh, short episode, but I hope you guys liked it and uh, stay tuned to next time. Thank you. Bye.